Not every military caregiver wears a uniform or even a lab coat, for that matter. Meet Callie. Callie will be five years old next week. While she was in obedience school, uh, people kept telling me that she was catching on to everything extremely quickly and she was so soft and fluffy and, you know, that she'd make a good therapy dog. They, they learned to be around large groups, a lot of noise. Um, we basically have to make it so that nothing's going to frighten them and they're going to be able to do their, their job. Callie and her friend Tori are part of Furry Angels, a volunteer therapy dog organization who provide a variety of services to service members at Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Just walk around and, and greet people and talk to them and you know maybe in a room like this will be a little bit of a distraction for a child that has to go in and have a shot. They're not going to be thinking about that, they're going to be thinking about the dog. I think it's the unconditional love. That's just the way dogs are. And especially if someone is a dog lover and they've had a dog in their life, so they get down on the floor and they start playing with them and, and horsing around and they're like showing us pictures of their dogs. Occasionally they'll show us pictures of their wives and kids. They always show us pictures of their dogs. While it's not an official course of medical treatment, sometimes puppy love can be just what the doctor ordered. Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones, Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, New Jersey.